Hi, I'm Greg Stoll, this is Private Browser. When you visit websites in the WebOS browsers, they get saved in the history and will show up in the autocomplete when typing in URLs like so. Usually this is convenient, but there are some sites that you might want to keep private. And that's where Private Browser comes in. Any sites you visit in the app will stay out of the history, and any cookies will be cleared when the app exits. When you first launch Private Browser, you'll see the main screen. You can either visit a website or go ahead and set an initial password. Let's go set a password now. My password. Now that I've set this password, um, I can visit a website here. For example, if I'm a Closet Yankees fan, I go here, and I can go ahead and add a bookmark for it. Now the next time, let me quit the app and start it over. Uh, you'll be asked to unlock the app, so you can enter the password. And then you can see your bookmarks are here. You can go ahead and click it. And again, if you go back to the regular WebOS browser, you can see that the Yankees does not show up in the title bar in the autocomplete, whereas the Red Sox does. Uh, Private Browser also lets you open new cards from the menu, as well as shift-clicking on links to open new cards. And um, that's about it. If you have any questions about Private Browser, please drop me an email.